Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will explore about what is user criteria and why we use user criteria in ServiceNow. Usually in ServiceNow we will be providing access to tables, modules, etc. based on their roles, right? So let me show you with my example. Click on all and type as here incident. So here we have so many modules. So let's click on this create new. Click on this edit module. See, this is a create new module, right? For this here, if you see in the visibility section, we have roles roles option here. So we have mentioned few roles here. SN I incident, SN underscore incident underscore right, comma ITL. So that means only the people with these roles, SN incident underscore right or ITL role people can can create an incident okay people other than these roles cannot be able to create a incident record okay so and this is one type of module and if you want to check also we have so many here see assign to me so here we have role section right so this is how we can provide access to the modules in service now only for few people's but how can we restrict the form visibility or form availability only to set by limit of people in service catalog? So that's why we will be using user criteria. So let me open any one of the maintain item first. So these are the catalog items. Let's take any one of the catalog item. I am selecting requested for company laptop. So this is one of the catalog item. Okay. So here this application or this request for company laptop form, I want to access this form only to ITL role people. Okay. Other than ITL role, they cannot see this form. Okay. So how we will do this? Scroll down and here, see here we have two sections available for and not available for. Okay. If you want to make this form availability only for few people, then you have to select this available for option. And if you select this not available for that, you can select the you can select the roles or users for whom this form should not be visible okay so i am going to select this available for okay so let's restrict this form visibility to certain limit of people so click on available for and click on new here see here when we click on new we will get a user criteria here so this user criteria, if you see here, this user criteria may be used to restrict the records in change model, service catalog and knowledge. Not only in service catalog, we can use this user criteria in knowledge and change models as well. Okay. So now we are going to restrict this form visibility only to ideal role people. Okay. So demo user criteria and, you, and here you can mention a short description as well if you need. So here you can see not only the roles, you can also able to see users, groups and companies, location, departments. We can see here we can restrict this form visibility based on groups, roles and if you want to show only the form to particular users means yes you can do that by selecting this users tab and if you want to show this form availability to particular companies means yes you can do that as well and if you see location we have you can select the particular location or department if you want to show this form only to IT department or HR department means yes, you can select that as well. So currently we are going to select the role here. So this form can see only ITL role people. Okay. So I am selecting as ITL and log this. Now save this user criteria. Now your user criteria is ready. If you check this advanced checkbox, you can also have a script option here. Okay. So you can use the script option as well. So currently I'm not going to touch this. Now go back. See now for this request for company laptop application, we have created one user criteria, demo user criteria. Okay. That means we have restricted this form visibility only for ITL role people. Other than ITL role people, they can't be able to see this request for company laptop service catalog. Okay. If you see here, we have not available for. If you select the ITL role, ITL role in not available for me, then, then accept ITL role people. Everyone can see this request for company laptop form. Okay. 
so this is how we can use the user criteria in service catalog so these are mainly used to restrict the form visibility only to set a limit of people that's all for today's video if you find this video helpful then please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye